Welcome back. Ever thought how you can make unlimited electron tube in Minecraft create mod? Because I have made a complete farm for it. Before we start, these are the things that you can make with electron tube, the list goes on. So let me explain how I built this farm. Before starting I want you to do something, build a blaze farm, a nether wart farm, sugarcane farm, two cobblestone generators, and an iron farm. Because these are the basic raw material you will need. Going ahead, you will need a netherrack, a lot of netherrack. Collecting netherrack cannot be automated by any create mod machines as of 1.18. I guess you can make your own miner for that. Part 1, Making Potions. First we need awkward potion, for that you will need some water, nether wart from the farm, a mixer to mix it, a blaze burner, and some pipes to store it in a tank. This tank will get connected with pipes to another basin, in which, awkward potion and blaze powder will be mixed together to make potion of strength. For the record, the blaze powder is generated with this mechanism. Part 2, Making Redstone. For making redstone you will need the netherrack, basically when the netherrack is crushed it becomes cinder flower, and when you pour potion of strength on these cinder flower, it is transformed into redstone dust. Basically let's imagine that the cinder flower is deactivated redstone dust which needs potions to be transformed. So I connected the spouts to the tank using some pipes, and this mechanism started making redstone dust which is getting stored into this buffer vault. Part 3, Making Quartz. For making quartz I built this mechanism, because this is a long build, I have specifically made a video on that. Please watch it so you understand building this quartz generator. Basically sand is flared into soul sand and washed to make quartz. This quartz is getting stored on this belt using weighted ejectors. Pa part 4, Making Rose Quartz. Now, the redstone and quartz that we made in part for used here to make rose quartz. Basically there are mechanical arms which put items in the correct order in that mechanical crafter. Once the recipe is fulfilled, it will make rose quartz and will store it in the buffer vault. This vault is just to store excess items. This vault will spit out items directly on this belt. P part 5, Making Sandpaper. This is a big part. So to polish the rose quartz you need sandpaper. Which is made by mixing sand with paper, here that sugar cane is crafted into paper. The paper and sand are mixed together to make sandpaper, the sand on this depot is because of this cobblestone generator over here. Cobblestone crushed two times is sand, this tunnel is sorting the sand from other gang. This tunnel will also dump the sand if there is excess on the belt. P part 6, Polishing. This sandpaper is fed into a deployer which has sandpaper already fitted in that hand. Whenever the sandpaper in the deployer breaks it is immediately replaced. On this depot the rose quartz is polished and stored into this buffer vault. Part 7, Making Iron Sheets. Here the iron farm will come in clutch as making iron from cobblestone generator is a bad idea, I tried it don't ask what happened. So to temporarily solve this issue I had to cheat a little. If you have a iron farm, then you can directly press that ingot into metal sheets on a depot or a basin. The metal sheets will be placed on this belt which will transport the sheet over here. Part 8, Electron Tube. These two mechanical arm will place polished rose quartz and iron sheets into these mechanical crafter, which will automatically make electron tube, which is then collected into this chest. This may look slow, but, idle your PC, go get a tea, rest for some time, eat something or watch 60 YouTube shorts and you will get a full chest of electron tube. Now you can make even bigger machines to lag the fuck out of your PC. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you have any questions, recommendations, compliment please leave a comment and I will surely read all of it. Thanks for watching.